You just watched some badass edit and wanted to get into that shit and make your edit. You download After Effects and you open it then. You face this. Well, don't worry. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to edit on your favorite show, make some badass edits, or just gain the editing skill. Well, I don't know. But you want to learn, I deliver. Let's get started. But first, this will be a series for beginners. This video is just the start. I can't cover everything in one video. So make sure to subscribe for the next. When you open After Effects, you'll see several panels. Here are the key ones. The project panel is where all your imported files and assets will live. Think of it as your toolbox. To import your files, you can just double click on the project panel, then choose your files. Or press Ctrl plus I on Windows or Command plus I on Mac and import your files. The timeline panel is where you'll create and manage your animations. The composition panel shows a live preview of your project as you edit. But first we gotta make our composition. So create a new composition by clicking New Composition or pressing Ctrl plus N on Windows or CMD plus N on Mac. In the settings, set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 for Full HD. Or here is other resolutions you can use. Depends on the form of editing you want to make. Adjust the frame rate to 30 frames as default, but you can change it for lower frame rate edits or higher. Choose a duration for your video, for example, 10 seconds. Click OK and your composition is ready. To stay organized, create folders for videos, right click in the panel, select new folder, and give it a name. Trust me, this will save you headaches in bigger projects. Drag your assets from the project panel app to the app timeline. Each item you add becomes a new layer. Each layer represents an element in your composition. You can reorder layers by clicking and dragging them up or down. Think of layers as stacked sheets of paper. The topmost layer is what you see. First you can hide the layer by clicking on the eye icon. If you messed up the panel by any chance you can reset it here to the default. And you can close any panel from the panel name. You can change the composition settings in case you changed your mind about it. You can duplicate layer by pressing Coral plus D. To select multiple layer hold Coral or Shift and select. Keyframes are what bring your animations to life. Select a layer, then press P to reveal the position property. Click the stopwatch icon to set your first keyframe. This tells After Effects where your layer starts. Move the playhead to another time, adjust the position, and a second keyframe will appear. The software fills in the motion between these points automatically, creating a smooth animation. You can also use keyframes for properties like scale, S, rotation, R, and opacity, T. To make your animation smoother, right-click on your keyframes, go to Keyframe Assistant, and select Easy Ease, or the shortcut F9. This makes movements more natural by adding acceleration and deceleration. Time remapping lets you control the speed of your layers. Right-click on a layer. Go to Time Greater than Enable Time Remapping. Add keyframes to mark points where you want to change the speed. Drag the keyframes closer for faster motion or spread them out for slow motion. To cut or trim a clip, select it in the timeline. Move the playhead to the point where you want to make the cut. Then press Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift D on Mac. This splits the clip into two. When you trim a layer, it becomes two layers. If you want to delete a layer, select it then press Delete on the keyboard. Press the backtick spacebar to preview your animation. For smoother playback, lower the preview resolution using the drop down menu below the preview window. To move a clip, just click and drag it to a new position in the timeline. To keep everything aligned, hold the shift key while dragging. Then press this button. Or you can drag it where you want. You can name it from marker settings by clicking right click with the mouse. Or delete them. You can zoom in and out in the timeline by pressing the plus and minus key on keyboard or hold alt. And with the mouse scroll button, if you want to move the playhead to the start of the clip, select the clip, then press I and O to move it to the end of the clip. You can move the start of a clip to the playhead 
by press this key on keyboard. And if you want the end of the clip to be on the playhead, press the button beside it. If you find the composition duration is big, you can select where the composition to start and end by press B to select the start and N to select the end. Then right clip between duration you've selected and choose trim comp to work area. If you messed up something in the work area, you can press Ctrl plus Z to undo it. When you put a clip that has audio, this audio button will show when you put it on the timeline and you can turn it off and on from here. And to see audio settings of the clip, press L and it will shows. And open the waveform to see the audio waveform. This will help when you want select the audio beats to put markers on Timeline Go where you want to put the marker to add text. Select the text tool from the toolbar or press Ctrl plus T and type your text and customize it using the character panel. You can adjust the font, size, color, and spacing. To animate text, use the same keyframe principles we just covered. Enhance your layers with effects. Select a layer, then go to the effects and presets panel. For example, type glow and drag it onto your layer to add a glowing effect. Well, most of After Effects effects are shit you need to add plugins for After Effects, so you can get most effects that editor use if you want. I'll make a video about top plugins that will help you in After Effects. Well, After Effects still do the job for a beginner. If you're working with multiple layers, you can group them by selecting the layers, right-clicking, and choosing Pre-Compose. This keeps your timeline tidy. Adjust the settings in the Effect Controls panel to customize the look. Once your project is ready, it's time to export. Go to File and Export, then Add to Render Queue. In the Render Queue panel, choose your output format and quality settings. Set the output location and click Render. Your video is now ready. You've just completed your first steps in After Effects. Well, I know this video is actually a joke, but I will explain more in the future and bring real value. I just make this to come back. Right now, I'm out of ideas. If you have any, tell me in the comments.